uh, the, the usually some stones tell me how it's going to be, what they want to be like, or when looking on the shape of the stone, I can, when my eye, when I put my eyes on the stone, I actually can see what is within the stone. Then I, I want to bring it out of the stone. That's the kind of communication I have between the stone and me. Artists are uh, learn their skills in a in a mentoring tradition. They don't go to to art school. It's all very informal and it's passed down from one generation to the next. Traditional Shona sculpture is all done using um, hand tools, and those are the artists I'm continuing to to represent. There are some machine-made works now in Zimbabwe, but I've chosen to specialize uh, at the Rice Lake Gallery with work that is hand-carved. The artists are use tools that uh, they sometimes even make themselves from industrial blades and all kinds of other interesting pieces of metal that they're able to come across. Um, the form, the subject matter, the treatment of the stone, the range is really uh, quite remarkable. and. Uh, the, uh, the, the tradition continues to, uh, to explore new ways of treating the stone. They sometimes choose to leave the stone raw, at other times making textures, sometimes with very polished surfaces. Uh, one of the things that I think Canadians really are uh, astonished by is the fact that the sculpture is able to stay outside through all of our four seasons. Stone is stone, and that's, it comes from nature, and it shows so beautifully in nature. And that's, again, part of the reason why I like to, uh, uh, to have our exhibitions in, the, in an outdoor setting. What I do is I... I, I just, as an artist, I, I take my time, I sit looking at the stones and people cannot understand what I'm going to say, but this is what is in me. I, there is some kind of communication between me and the stone. I have to listen to what the stone wants to be. Then I have to wake it out, bring it out of the stone and show it to the world. And sometimes uh, when I'm working on my sculptures, it's I'm working from my heart. I want to bring what is in my heart to share with others that they can see. Wow.